Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth and today I wanted to show you a brand new collection by Imagination Crafts called Voila. So this one is really special to me and David because while, during lockdown we painted these rice papers which is something new for Imagination Crafts because if you're used to us you'll know that we um, do all of our rice papers digitally. So this is something really new and exciting because we've hand painted these. We did them quite a while ago now during lockdown which feels like a lifetime ago. Um, but I wanted to show you and talk through everything that we've got to show you today and these amazing canvases that have been made into rice papers. So to start us off, we've got this one. So I'm going to show you the canvases first. So this is my artwork that we're going to um, show you on canvases. We've got them onto soft furnishings, onto cards. So this is walking down a street in Paris. You've got the scene set for you already. We've got the perspective on there. So we've got the trees, we've got the street lamps. You're walking down there and we've got stamps that we've got as silhouettes where you can make things in the background. We can put larger stamps in the foreground. We can fill it out with all of the street lamps and the trees, which is something I really enjoyed because you can, even though we've got the same rice papers with the different stamps and the different stencils, each time the scene's gonna be different, which is, I think is something really exciting for imagination crafts. So that is your canvas and then this is your rice paper. So I've used all the cadence paints in this um, while doing these rice papers. So when we rip the edges and when we blend them, you're going to get that seamless blend because all the colours match so well. So for example, on this cushion, this is another rice paper that we have got. The rice paper actually stops here. And all I've done is I've extended that scene out so your projects are never ending. You can keep going with this, you can add buildings onto the side. It is really never ending and the projects are so versatile and unique every time. They're going to be original to you, even though that these are our rice papers that we've painted. Your projects are going to be so original and they're going to look different every time. So the next one, this is one of my personal favourites, I really enjoyed, to, enjoyed painting this just because of all the different colours in it. So we've got the blues, we've got the zestiness from the yellows and the reds, it was, it was just such a pleasure to paint. So we've got the lake here, we've got the trees, we've got all the grass, so imagine being in France, walking around the parks in France, looking at the um, lake, walking past it and we have got a bridge and stencils that fit perfectly over this so this is on the canvas that we've got just here so Sarah Lou designed this so the bridge fits perfectly over how easy is that to set the scene and we've got silhouettes that fit perfectly all in the correct perspective every time for each different canvas to fit so it looks like we're walking she could be walking home she could be going out somewhere it's raining we've got that scene set for us already and you can get a different look and feel to that every time and that's the rice papers and you can see even though it's been printed there's been absolutely no color change on there you can actually see the full intensity and the pigment of the cadence paints so this was actually one of the first ones i did so i was just sort of getting used to it learning what colors go together so I've, I was quite heavy with the blues on this one, which I've really liked as well because it works so nice with the um, the reds on there and the yellows. We've got the reflection in the water. Again, we've got the perspective on there so we can add the silhouettes, we can add extra street lamps, we can add extra trees. The possibilities with these rice papers that we have created and the way that me and David have planned them out are endless and everything fits perfectly. So that was that one. And then this is the rice paper to go with it. And then, last but not least, so the idea with the, behind this one was walking down the streets in Paris looking at all the shops. Um, we've got little labels that go on the shop fronts, we've got that pathway here, we've got a car that fits beautifully in there, so we've, we've got like that vision of a busy street in Paris walking down it. We can add silhouettes on it, um, again add into the foreground, keep going with street lamps. We have got two different size street lamps and trees on there as well so you can get that perspective of things being in the background and in the foreground which I think is something really special. And again this is your rice paper. So I'm just going to show you the stamps that we get in this collection. So like I said we've got the silhouettes, we've got some scripting in there as like filler so we can add textures with this in the background. Um, we've got um, a man and a woman kissing, we've got a child sat there with a little dog which I think is so cute. Uh, we've got a man and a woman walking a dog and we've got a woman walking as well. 
and then these look really cute on um, the shop fronts. Maz did a lovely sample with these. So she put them onto the shop fronts, which is not something I'd thought about doing, but it looks brilliant. It just adds them little extra details and it's something that we thought about as well. And then um, we've got little sentiments on there as well, all written in um, French, so we can still set that scene. But however, that doesn't mean that you have to use the rice papers with the stamps and the stencils, you can just use the stamps and stencils on their own. So we've got some beautiful samples here. So these are using the um, Dora Metallics, so we've really got that scene set of the Doras setting out the light, we've got the reflection. When it catches the light, um, you can see all the different detail and the depth that Angie's put into this. We can see the rain going onto the umbrella, um, and then we've the texture on here has been done with the structure paste so we can build that brick-like texture which is again adding the texture, is adding the scene and adding that depth. And then this is one of my favourite samples, it's something so different. But look at that, we've got the sacre care, we've got French words, we've got fireworks that have all been done in Doris, we've got the little girl with the dog watching the fireworks over the river and when she's even thought about the reflection which is something amazing to do. Um, I think it looks really effective in the, even though we've not used the rice papers it's a completely different look and feel to the other canvases and projects that we've got surrounding us so like I say the possibilities with this collection and the way that you can put the collection together every time are so different so this is all coming up um, soon on Create and Craft and we can't wait to see what you come up with thank you